You know what? Maybe Review Tech USA is not that bad of a guy at all because last night during his second meltdown stream of the week, he put me over like a fucking champ. He reacted to one of my wrestling matches from back like in 2012, 2013. And I kick a midget in this match. So you're going to want to see his reaction. Make sure you don't click off this video. You'll see his reaction when I kick a midget. It's fucking priceless. And I, I don't understand why he thought this would be a gotcha. I'm literally a pro wrestler. I want more people to see my matches. It helped promote me. So thank you. If you go back and look at his live chat replay, there was even super chats of people saying they think this is awesome. There's no way that this was a gotcha. I think there was a guy by the name of Turbo Express that decided this was dirt to dig up on me. Review Tech, is your audience full of retards? Because it's not. It's fucking awesome. So thank you. Between shouting my book out, I sold 37 copies the other day, and showing my wrestling match, you are like my biggest promoter at this point. I, I got to send you a royalty check because Jesus Christ, you're helping me grow. Now we're going to watch his live reaction. This is a clip from his stream. He was watching one of my other videos that I did on him, but I guess he didn't like the criticism, so he cut it early so he can watch my wrestling match. I I'm sorry for felting you that much, but let's go ahead and watch. Nope. Wrestling. Yeah, so wrestling. a wrestling match of mine, which you can look them all up on, you on YouTube. I have my wrestling playlist on my channel directly. So he's going to watch a video actually from my channel, so I don't know why mm -hmm. he thinks I would be upset about it. Where, dude, all right. Let me, what, he can't even I find ask a it. link that's asking for information, I'm trying to dox by wanting to watch a YouTube video. See, he's twisting what he said the other day when he told his uh, Discord, dig up any dirt and send it to me. Because he's saying that, uh, I guess he's mocking it. You were asking for doxing, but you could look up any of my videos all you fucking want. Go ahead. This is fucking awesome. I'm so happy. Like, legit, I tweeted all about it. You can go to my Twitter and look. He made himself look so fucking stupid on this, thinking I was going to be upset. Eric. 8-Bit Eric Wrestling or Joey wrestling. Spectre Wrestling. You can find all the <laughs> matches. I got a playlist on my channel, guys. <laughs> I don't understand why he thought this was a gotcha. And if Turbo thought this was a gotcha, he's a fucking idiot. Thanks, guys. You're my biggest fucking fans. This was awesome. <laughs> I'm already laughing. Look at this. March 3rd, 2012. So over a decade ago, 12 years ago. At the time, I was doing a Ring King gimmick because there was a tournament that we would do kind of like the WWE King of the Ring. I won it. So I got to be a king in, a king with a crown and a cape for a while. So that was the gimmick. Uh, you can see he shits on this company, but this company has been around for over 20 years, and they've had various wrestlers throughout the years that come in like Hacksaw, Jerry Lawler, Keith Lee, Sammy Guevara. I don't wrestle with this company anymore, but he does look it up. If you want to know which one I wrestle for right now, it's called Austin Wrestling Revolution. I help book it. I run a wrestling school with it. So either way, thanks for the promotion. Thanks for the shout outs immensely. Look. Oh, shit. I closed the fucking goddamn window. He can't even troll properly. He just closed the goddamn fucking window. Like this guy is so boomer and I guess stoned off his mind that he can't even fucking properly troll. So now we're going to have to sit here and look at him, try to figure out how to pull the video back up. <laughs> what a fucking mess. Oh, God. So, yeah, let's go to it. Let's go to it. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> Type with those fat sausage fingers. Eric. Come on. Eric. I'm still confused how he thought this That's was a like, gotcha, though. Like, it's literally something I've been doing for two decades um, plus. And he thinks this is a, uh, a, a gotcha. I'm literally flattered. I'll show you guys some of my tweets after this. This brings back memories, by the way. This guy wrote a book on this. He's laughing at the title because it's called Midget Kicking Mania. That's because it's saying that I, it's because I kick a midget in this. And yes, I wrote a book. Look it up on Amazon, guys. Thank you. I, I love every time Rich mentions the book because it helps. He's literally sold me some books this week. I gotta send. I gotta send Rich a thank you letter. All right. What is RCW? Let's look that. Look up. at this. So I guess he's just deciding you, you to. You see what this is, uh, Jeff? I know you're a fucking grifting, desperate idiot, but here's oh. things you could do. Like I want to know about RCW. So I do this thing. It's it's a keyboard, Jeff. You looking at it? Who's he talking? Oh, he's talking to Smash JT for some reason. I have I have no clue. <laughs> That's fucking weird. R C W. 
And when you put things in a keyboard, see how short a little time that took? You could look some information. Oh, I guess up he's saying and not just talk out of your oh, you don't care because you just want to throw people under the bus. Yes, that's it. Uh, for whatever reason, he did a pot shot at Smash JT. That's fucking weird. Enough about Smash. Let's talk about me. I, I'm full of myself. I love when people talk about me. Let's go. Okay. RCW. Is it RCW? Uh, wrestling. It's only three fucking letters. <laughs> he couldn't remember Type it. Wrestling, yeah. River, it has been San Antonio's brand of pro wrestling for more than two decades. Yeah, 20 years plus. RCW Network. See, what it's happens like is a, a lot of people... Wrestling thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a local wrestling thing. It's called indie. Indie wrestling. A lot of people, I guess Rich is one of them, don't know that there's actual stuff that's not WWE. There's stuff in Mexico, Japan, Europe, Canada, uh, at a local level. Indie wrestling, regional wrestling. It's been that way for decades. I, I guess he doesn't know. I don't fault him. He's bringing awareness to the product, especially a decade-old match, which I think is great. Rich, you don't know about this match. This match is legendary with my community, with my community, the Game Chasers community. Like, literally everybody that is involved in the retro gaming scene has seen this midget kick, and they laugh about it and say how fucking awesome it is. See, the thing between me and you is people laugh with me, and they laugh at you. That's why you can't decide <laughs> what what is funny or not. Your humor's fucked because you have you have no fucking awareness of what's actually entertaining or what's not because you sit there playing with porcelain chickens and and drinking alcohol. This is good entertainment. And I'm not even mad at you for sharing this. This is probably I got a 1 million sub YouTuber Sharing my fucking matches out. That's fucking awesome. Thank you. Here, here's the here here is the fucking page, so no one could say it that I'm. Okay, cool. Free advertising. Where is it? Doesn't say what it's about. It's pro Are wrestling. Let's see how many fo- this will show how many followers do they have on here. <laughs> Oh, man. Yo, that career, d- dude, you were blowing up, man. No He's, one was stopped. I don't run that company. That's somebody else. And that wasn't the only company I ever wrestled for. I've wrestled for 23 years. It's all in here. I wrestled in the Alamo Dome and all that. So I understand why he's laughing at stuff that people do. Up in you, Eric. Like. Where's the what? Where's the mockery in this? Two point nine thousand views. No wonder why you are a fucking legend, dude. God bless. That's on my channel. If he would look right here on the bottom left, he would see that this is a video uploaded on my channel, not on RCW's channel. Let's watch the match. No wonder why you wrote a book. No wonder I wrote a book. What? I still don't understand what's wrong with writing a book. Lee, you are leagues ahead of any other YouTuber with this exciting, successful career you had in wrestling. You fucking fraud. <laughs> As the guy sits here and makes some of the worst rap beats ever, you act like nobody's ever tried to call me a fraud for my wrestling or anything, dude. If anything, you're doing the best promotion for it I've seen in my life ever. Like this, you did me a fucking solid playing this. I, I'm I'm not in any fucking shape, form, or fashion embarrassed by this. I twerk on camera. I've literally been naked on Game Chasers episodes. I've shown my dick on Twitter. Like the least embarrassing thing that you could fucking show about me is anything wrestling related. Because this is this is awesome. Now he does say that there was only seventy people in attendance, but you can see he shuts up real quick once the camera pans around. There was easily like about one fifty to two hundred people in this gym. But let's just watch it. This lady to this Saturday, April fourteenth, the RCW ten year anniversary show at the good show. Yeah, I used to wear these pink and black little trunks. Pretty fucking great. My boots. It's awesome. Oh, and you know what's funny? Okay. The reaction oh. that he's giving right now is the reaction that pro wrestlers are supposed to have. 
You're supposed to give it reaction, whether it's laughing, booing, cheering. He doesn't realize it, but that's why fans are called marks. You you spot your mark, it's carny talk, and you get them to react or get immersed into the situation and make them feel something. He's literally, he's literally laughing and reacting to it without realizing that that's the thing that we need him to do. By the way, shout outs to the likes, dislikes right here on the bottom. Look at that. 268 likes to 531 dislikes. How does he think he's doing anything good at this point? He did do something good, and I'm going to show you. Somebody literally tweeted saying that this was the best thing about his whole entire stream was showing my wrestling. That's a fucking honor. Oh, no. Shepard, 1630, Road. Bro, I'm looking at his balls in a fucking Speedo right now. Thank you for me. I got to piss real quick. You know, it's all that alcohol. <laughs> Okay, so I think he takes a break, and for whatever reason, he's going to show Andy Worski in a diaper or underwear or something. Oh, yeah, he's doing something. He's making a fucking asshole of himself and thinking that his self-importance makes him to the point where he has to write a book that would take fucking half of a 12-hour cycle to fucking listen to. What? How How is making a book about yourself making an ass about yourself? Plus, it's a 380-page book. If you read chapters, it takes time. It's a six-hour read because it took six hours to sit here and read it audibly. That's not self-importance. Rich is so weird. <laughs> and I know what he's going to say. Oh, you're getting so hurt and triggered over the book. No, I'm just trying to figure out your logic, buddy. Uh, as we have Andy Worski here and his fucking underwear. Okay, so let's uh let's play the rest of this. <laughs> Did you see his walk? The Ricky Joey Super Shot Spectre. There we go. So this was a six-man tag mixed. So I was teaming with uh, with a girl against another girl and a guy and a midget. So it was three against two. I was the heel team. And in a short amount of time, Kyra has impressed River Super. This brings back some huge memories, Dude, by the there's way. There's like 70 people there. I have secondhand embarrassment for him. There's this is just one side of the ring, Rich. There's four sides to the ring. And it's bad. Also, keep in mind, I'm doing this when this guy couldn't even go box the quartering. And he used his daughter as the shield for it. And it just recently came up that he only visited his daughter three times in the hospital. So I don't know what he's shit talking about. <laughs> This is like me doing a con for myself and having three people show up and thinking I'm a movie star. It's just but I, I didn't run this. I wasn't the promoter. I was just a talent. I didn't put this event together. I don't know why he thinks I put this event together. It's, it's an indie wrestling show. There's a promoter. There's a booker. There's talent. There's security. There's a ring crew. Uh, it's just like a local boxing match. It's so weird that he has like that low of like any kind of like lo logical sense about how things work. And and the fact that he thought that this was like getting an own on me is is fucking wild. The equivalent of that. And I can't wait to refresh the comments. Delusional. I can't wait to refresh the comments though. I uh, bet you I if we go later six, in a minute. I didn't write a fucking novel on my amateur wrestling career that went nowhere. Sure about what to make of this powerful, dominant female. So that's Kira Myra. She wrestles as Shiva Queen now. That's Kissy, Honky Kong, and uh, Baby Kong. I guess he doesn't understand pro Is wrestlers have Eric skit? characters. I guess he doesn't I understand that. that. <laughs> Honky Kong, what is going on? What is, this man wrote a book on this. I will not. So Honky Kong did a, it's like a Donkey Kong parody, except it's like a white guy. It was actually really over with the fans. And then Baby Kong is just like a midget version of him. Kissy's a cowgirl. Uh, Review Tech, do you not watch wrestling? Uh, that's weird. Not let that go. <laughs> this man wrote a book on this. I did. And every time you mention it, I sell copies. I know he's, I know he's watching this and stewing right now. You're a joke and I'm glad you are. I was not stewing. Go check out Twitter, guys. I was ecstatic. Matter of fact, I think we might pull that up right here. I was fucking ecstatic that he was fucking putting uh putting my video out. <laughs> Cause uh you can see right here. Uh I put Review Tech USA's reaction to my end screen thumbnails, fucking golden seethe. 
you know, maybe RTU ain't that bad of a guy. He just made me look fucking awesome. Holy shit, check out my midget kick. You know, people are saying they became fans because of this. Said thank you. <laughs> I said RGT. I mean, uh, not RGT. I don't want to insult RGT like that. I said the real RTU thought I'd be mad if he showed my matches. I've been doing this for years. Thanks for the promotion, man. Holy fuck, that was nice. A million sub channel just made me look awesome with that midget kick. Here's a playlist. So if you guys go to my Twitter account, I put a playlist to all of my matches. And you guys are welcome to watch them. You can react to them on stream. Help promote me. The more eyeballs that get onto my wrestling, the better for me. So thank you, Rich. I said, uh, guys, real the real RTU picked the best match to watch. I kick a midget in this match. <laughs> like... You, I put a. He thinks watching a video of a match is a, is a crush and mocking me. This fat fuck can't even do push ups. Also, he sucks at trolling. He even accidentally closes his browser. And yes, my name shows up in results because it's something I've done for years. Not embarrassed. I, I don't understand how he thought I'd be embarrassed, but it did anything but. I'm fucking flattered. Thank you so much, Rich. Thank you for the bottom. I want to send you some roses or or at least a snack. Can I door dash you? And here come the lovable opponents. They're they used to come out to Donkey Kong Country this. music, too. Oh. oh. Mm. <laughs> that midget was awesome as fuck, by the way. He would always get drunk bruised, and high. Dude. Oh, my, maybe I should have been, I should have waited another night to not oh, be stoned. And a baby car. And I'm actually surprised he's not fucking stoned. I don't know what I'm going to do. This I'm is exactly what seconds. I don't know what I'm going to fucking So look at all these fans in the crowd having a good time, enjoying, high-fiving everybody, getting into it, and he's happy. Look, this is the happiest I've seen Review Tech on stream. Honestly, he's smiling, laughing, has a big grin. It's exactly what we're supposed to do as entertainers, wrestlers. We're supposed to make people people feel emotion like that. I think next time you should show your kids. I think your kids would love this, Rich. Spend some time with them. Show them the wrestling. I think they will definitely love it. You really should. Now, continuing on. You do. It's going to take until 4 in the morning just to get through this. This is What is going on? This is like a really weird porn. That's what's supposed to be wrestling. It's supposed to be something that you that's like imaginative. Something that's different. Here we go. We're in the action now. Look. That that was a genuine laugh and reaction right there. Let's play it back for a second, just real quick. If I can go back a second. Watch. That was a genuine reaction right there. Oh my! Maybe I should have been. I should have oh. waited another night to not oh, be stoned. And a baby. I don't want to be in full screen. Let's go back. Oh, Fuck it. I don't know how to move around. <laughs> but watch, watch this genuine reaction right here when I get thrown to the ground. What I'm gonna do. I'm going to stop this every two seconds. I don't know what I'm going to fucking do. It's going to take until four in the morning just to get through this. This is what is going on. This is like a really weird. Watch, watch this genuine reaction that right I here. don't want to watch. The fans reaching out from the bananas. Those nanas, so important. Look right here, right here. This makes me happy. Watch. Stalling at first. <laughs> genuine reaction right there. That is great. I can't pick him up. Well, Look, that, I mean, that's exactly I'll what just... I want out of you on that spot. Obviously, I can't pick him up because it's pro wrestling, and the whole funniness of it is I'm a bad guy. I don't know if you guys know I'm a heel. I'm a bad guy. I'm trying to lift the big guy, and, and the spot is I can't do it, so he's going to pick me up and slam I'll, I'll, me. I'll, I'll, give him a little, I'll give him a little slack on that one. Has he never seen wrestling ever? Rich, you need to watch some wrestling, dude. It's fun. Watch this. Look at that. Look at that grin. I know he's thinking he was embarrassing me by watching this, but no. This ain't this is what I do. I do this. This is the weirdest shit I've ever watched, and I love it. Oh my god. Is it more weird than the gay black porn that you have in your Dropbox? Also, he goes on to say that there's low production quality and that it's like 
720 uh, p and all that. This is from 2012. This video is from 2012. And it's indie wrestling, so production quality is lower. It's not as high production as WWE. Yes, he wrote a six-hour audio book. We will listen to a small portion of it. I didn't write an audio book. You can't write an audio book. You can write a paperback book and an a e-book, but I didn't write an audio book. I talked and made audio for an audible audio book. Just clarifying that. In a stream. We're going to be taking a break from the drama shit. I need the break, even if people here are enjoying it. Uh, but we will come back. To oh, he's taking a break from the drama, guys. More episodes of this. And that book. That lovable giant. By the way, oh, I'm not worried if he place. plays the book or not. The book's actually copyrighted through Amazon, and it's actually an audible book. So I think Amazon might have some copyrighted stuff. So enjoy the DMCA if Amazon gives it to you. I, I mean, I want yeah. the promotion. So maybe we can get a right away with you know you playing or whatever. I want the I want the promotion. But like I told you, good luck because that's Amazon. Yeah, this is like community theater. This is like, a, like I did plays in college and me writing a book on it. it this is the equivalent of it. Yeah, it's indie this wrestling. Guy, this guy is, he he thinks like he's a very successful wrestler. By the way, this is a different side of the ring from the other people that he said is maybe 70. So I'm counting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Easily like 50 people on that side plus the 70 that he counted. Um I never said I was a successful wrestler. I just wanted to write a book so I could sell it at conventions. Um, Rich, I know the one convention that you went to that I actually met you at was AVC or AVGC in Parsippany. And then I know you were going to go to too many games, but nobody likes you and you had a death threat placed on you. So you got canceled from the event. Um, I got to tell you, they were already thinking about canceling you off of that event anyway because you're toxic. But I go to conventions and stuff. I do wrestling shows. I sell these in person. It's it's called the hustle. It's called the grind. He's dying to become relevant on YouTube. Here you go, Eric. You can have it. I'm dying to become relevant on YouTube? Bro, you're dying to stay relevant. <laughs> like, who are you insulting? Go ahead. Enjoy. He's so angry just, just because like I said he needs to get off the internet. Board buddy Jay, you both. Will, I just want my little community. Did I tell you Rich is a fat fuck and you need to come see me in a wheelchair? What does JKB have to do with that? And what the fuck was that? And from what I'm hearing, I haven't had anything to confirm yet. Don't want to ask for a clip. They'll say I'm doxing him. Where Jay said, if you watch Rich, you're an idiot or something along those lines. If you do watch Rich, you are a fucking idiot at this point. <laughs> Clip that. I don't. I'm. I will say I'm paraphrasing because I don't want to be a liar. You are a liar. <laughs> Anyways, hurry up and play the match. This is fucking awesome. This is stuff that no. Phil. Phil. Act. Phil faps the breasts, but he has to like hide in a corner and do it. What does Phil have so to do with me? <laughs> Let's go, Rich. Dead air. Dead air. Also, by the way, like I said, by the way, like I said, if you go back and look at his live chat replay, a lot of them are saying they don't understand what the gotcha is with this. What's the problem? Why they're trying to roast this. This is indie wrestling. This is fucking awesome. Somebody super chatted saying they just became a fan of mine. So this did the opposite of what Rich wanted. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about this at all as I hiccup. Nice chop. Nice chop. I know there are still uh, Kino trolls here. What's embarrassing? Me laughing at this asshole? Um, or Eric sitting there slapping this guy on his gun? No, what's embarrassing is that you're sitting on stream crying about me thinking that this is a gotcha when you're putting me the fuck over. Thank you. Dude, you're making me look fucking awesome. That's two streams in a row. You made me look awesome. And I love that you're so felted by Kino trolls that you're over here freaking 
so paranoid that they're in there. But no, nobody's embarrassed by this. <laughs> Please tell me. Soundboard. The soundboard, I think, is his security blanket to when he knows he's not funny at all. He puts the soundboard just for the, Ooh, you got, got the soundboard. Out in half. I'm not sure what you mean, but. What Come on. Video game lovers say? Destiny FOMO is in the chat. What's good? Oh, so check this out. Destiny FOMO comes in, who's my friend or has been my friend for quite some time. Uh, she comes in the chat and says, hi. And uh, listen to what Rich says again. Rich does this weird thing saying that I'm a simp for her. I've only ever been friendly with Destiny FOMO. Um, I just thought this was a weird observation. So let's watch this real quick. Uh, we're watching a professional wrestler who is extremely professional. Uh, by the way. Uh, so I know Destiny FOMO is a pro wrestling fan. It did kind of upset me. Not going to lie that she did defend me on the indie wrestling aspect that I'm an indie wrestler and that he shouldn't uh, be shit talking me. That did that did kind of weird me out a little bit. I thought that was a little sus, but maybe she's just trying to stay out of the trouble because she's friends with both of us. I'm not going to ask her to pick a side. I saw a tweet from Ape Eric. He misses you. He simps for you. So telling her friend that you miss them is a simp. She also didn't defend me on that for some reason, but uh, no, I'm not a simp. Uh, I could talk to girls rich Tell them that I miss them. I appreciate them. Thank them for their friendship. Um, unlike you, which <clears throat> that will be coming out really soon. But let's go on. He's a big simp, Destiny. Of any He's acting like I haven't known Destiny for at least, what, 2018, 19, for at least five years. Again, she didn't say anything in response to this. So, okay, whatever. Any female. Maybe she was just trying to avoid the drama. I don't know. Uh, but let's go on. It's not gonna have an effect. Uh-huh. Look at this. Uh-huh. Mongolian chop. Boom. Headlock. This Check this out. He's going to toss me up. This hurt. I remember this hurt. So well that fucking hurt. He just like picked me up, launched me, I and I landed I sideways. I can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is real, and he would have the audacity to write a book on it like he was wildly successful. It's insane. It, like, Jay- I think a 23-year career wrestling big names like Hacksaw, Jerry Lawler, Barry Gennetti, Viscera, Keith Lee, Sammy Guevara, uh, wrestling in 10 different states, running a pro wrestling school, winning numerous titles, wrestling at the Alamo Dome, Fremont Coliseum, American Airlines Center, the Dodge Arena in Hildago. I think that's pretty good. Wrestled for NWA, Lucha Libre SA. I wrestled for Impact Wrestling. I've done security and local work for WWE. I think that's pretty good. I mean, you should read the book and, and find out. You have the book. You can listen to it. Feel free to. Hey, this is your buddy, man. What's wrong with that? I don't I don't understand. Why is he like this is your buddy? Like this is such a, a fucking discovery for me to be ashamed about. That's so fucking weird. I think he's making me look fucking great. Me, uh, and he's promoting oh no, the book more than anybody I've ever I, I didn't even have to pay him. Something Jay said to me in a in a beat that I'm working on. But I didn't I'll, even have uh, to pay him to advertise my book. That's the best part. Now check this part out. She was awkward. Kissy was awkward, but we do the heat to her. Watch this. Boom. She's going to she's going to bulldog him into my nuts. And he thinks it's I don't know. He thinks there's like some kind of clever screenshot this that I'm going like, to see about the whole idea of the spot was for her to be my nuts. I think he missed. I think he missed the spot. So watch. Watch. Oh, and listen to this. From this. Watch this. Oh, look, Eric's hitting women, huh? Man, Eric will have to put out a fake narrative that you're hitting women, even though it's just in a ring. Hey, it's pro wrestling. Guys wrestle girls all the time. There's intergender wrestling. Everyone else is putting out fake narratives about me. Why not? Jay's getting the uh, (laughs) Canadian police after me. Let's go. Oh, don't forget, he's also saying Smash JT is a rapist. This guy is just all about making fake things about people. Now, look, she's going to get bulldogged into my balls. He doesn't watch wrestling because that's that's a common spot. 
Wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Look, he's wait, literally wait. falling for the yeah, way that, that the fans did at the show. Like, that's the reaction yeah, I right. want. Rich, you're so, like, lowest common Stone denominator that you 70, don't realize 720p that, that was the idea with the spot. Uh, Playback here we go. <laughs> so Let's she play. bulldogged her into my nuts. <laughs> that is a pretty funny screenshot. Yes! yes. Get I might screenshot that too. Out of the way, bitch. There we go. I'm gonna screenshot that too. There we go. And look, he doesn't know how to yeah. screenshot. I just did it really quick. <laughs> I need that screenshot. Come on. 243. He had to do a All timer. Right, Couldn't you just like uh window key shift A or window key shift S? Use the snipe the snip in tool. The future, where is video download? Does he not know how to use the snip tool? Is he such a dumbass that he doesn't know how to use the snip and cut tool? Dude, I just I just did it. And you know what? Hold on. I'm gonna do you a favor, Review Tech. I'm actually going to uh to send it to you. I'm gonna send you the screenshot I just did. That way you can have it. Since you uh, you apparently don't know how to uh, clip, saw you had issues clipping a screenshot. My computer would stop being slow. Let me move my microphone out of the way. We're gonna do this. Oop, hold on, I'm typing wrong. All right. I, I don't understand how that was supposed to be a felting. It was clearly a funny comedy uh, pro wrestling spot. He's even going to rewind it. All right. Oh, I said thump. Ah, I could deal with that typo. Okay, let's go back to the match. So he just fumbles right here for a what minute. What the fuck are you doing? I don't want audio, I want video. He's having trouble oh, downloading no. my video. Does he have some kind of weird lock on it? They sometimes do that. A weird lock? Why is I don't it know. taking so long, dude? Whatever. He was trying to download my video for some reason? That's weird. I need this fucking screenshot. I'm not going. <laughs> hey, I already got, got it for you, buddy. I already got it for you. Windows Shift S. No, I. <laughs> Look at that. He couldn't even figure out how to snipe, or or I keep saying snipe. No, he couldn't figure out a snip and cut. Screenshot. It's too good. Or snipe, <laughs> or whatever. He can't figure out anything, and he makes fun of Locale Live for having technical issues all the time. He's still trying to get that screenshot. <laughs> Look at this. So he's the fumbling around. Tool will still have all like the numbers and shit and the time and all that. I don't want that. No, what? I want it so I could get a thumbnail. I I literally just did Windows key shift and D, and then I drag and dropped on the screen and did it in the matter of like ten seconds. For somebody that says their name is Review Tech, they sure as fuck don't know how to use tech. Weird. Look, so she's going to bulldog my head into my later. crotch. Gonna... Or her head into my crotch. It's a you wrestling spot. Just fucking watching me doing stupid shit. Look. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. You know, not this only is fucking hurt. funny. You know I want it. Because if I, if I, when I talk about him again in a couple weeks, he will seethe over that thumbnail. That will I'm going to seethe over mind. the thumbnail? And that is the Fucking thing. I'm gonna see over the thumbnail that I just sent you, bro. It's fucking awesome. How am I seething over something that I do for fun, and, and have been doing for 20 years? You're fucking weird. You really don't know what I fucking get mad about. And he did a soundboard to that too. What's the point of this? Comedy. Is comedy okay? Do you like comedy? It's not funny. Because this is comedy. <laughs> None of oh. this is funny. 
Look at this. The super chat just said you backed out of a boxing match with the quartering and tore your ACL walking downstairs. Did he really do that? What a fat fuck. You obviously don't know indie wrestling. <laughs> he doesn't know indie wrestling. I don't it's all right though. It's all right. Oh, he's not gonna win any sort of scientific encounters. He's not gonna win an amateur wrestling contest. But boy, is he powerful. That was a good headbutt right there. Honky Kong was a good wrestler. He was a good wrestler. <laughs> Listen, look like you're getting a really painful blowjob wrestling women in a ring. Let's go. Be a man. He does these be a man jokes. Look like you're getting a painful blowjob in the ring. Okay. Be a man. Okay. Well, hey, Review Tech, take care of your daughter. Be a dad. Okay, go on. What's he doing on his phone now? Oh, All right, so now we're going to the heat, which is where the heels beat up the faces in the match. The midget just gave me a drop kick in the balls. He just grab his own balls. Because I got hit in the nuts. Is he not paying attention to the match? <laughs> Check this out. This is a funny part right here. This is all the his chat loved I, this. This is when amazing. I did the grind on this girl's I head. This is it's fucking awesome. Turbo Express, thank you. I don't understand how this was a, a gotcha. Turbo thank Express, you, are you retarded? Uh, this was the best thing you could have did for me. Blossom is back, tell her I said hello. <laughs> uh, I will always say this too. I will not tell anyone that they have to pick a side. Ever. Yeah, he will. I guarantee you his like so. super secret mods in his Discord are and told we're they can't not allowed to watch it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure something will happen that it will circle back again, but not for a while. Unless like Jay shows up here naked tomorrow. Oh, he's claiming he's with done with the drama after officers. tonight. That would, be, that would be a situation. No, he's not. <laughs> Especially because I'm going to keep going after you, buddy. Don't think just because you stopped Thank that I'm going to stop. Thank you, person I won't name. Thank you so much. <laughs> I got it. Oh, that's going to be a thumbnail next time we do this. Please use the thumbnail. Well, a... Oh, wait, dude. Isn't the debate this week? The debate is this week. Ah, perfect. That's it. All good. So. He's taking the fight. I have my boys Wednesday night. I won't be streaming, obviously, then. Unless they go to sleep really early. There is that chance. Check this out. This is great. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. You hear that crowd reaction? Yes. Exactly what he's doing right here is what that's supposed to do. I'm getting him to react, whether it's positive or negative, laugh, cry, boo. That means I did my job as a pro wrestler. He's loving it. Look at this. He's never been that happy. Again, next time, show the kids. Show the boys tomorrow. I love it. I love it. Look at this. Look at this. That's awesome. It's an awesome move. I do that almost every other match. Whoever I'm wrestling, I do like a little grind on them. It's fucking great. Remember, folks, gaming made him gay. <laughs> oh, he's referring Wait. to the gaming made me gay because people say video game, uh, vi uh, video games cause violence. So I made that video. So I guess he does like some kind of no weird volume. thing with music here. I don't know if this is copyrighted, but we'll just leave it. So he's going to go and have me grind on her or some shit. That's a yeah. heel move. That's what heels do. Um, Let's go. I know you don't watch pro wrestling, but there's several people that do stuff like that. Shake that ass, Eric. Let's go. Get some fecal matter in that block. That's hair. a classic heel move. That's one of my best fucking heel moves. And the best is yet to come still. We haven't gotten the midget kick yet, guys. The midget kick is still coming. Who's getting felted tonight, motherfucker? Who's getting felted tonight? You did. <laughs> you got felted. You put me over like a champ, 
And I think uh, last I heard, you'd had absolutely nothing on Kino, Smash, or JKB. <laughs> That's like five times in the last five minutes you use the soundboard. But it ain't mine. Can't cry to it. All right, here it comes. Right here. Midget kick. Oh! Look at his reaction. Look. You can't tell me he's secretly loving this. Oh, God. Oh. That's what it's all about oh, right so there, guys. Because last night I was, dude, I was running on virtually no fucking sleep. I wouldn't have not. I would have fucking had to crawl on the floor, go to bed, and not be able to handle this. That is what it's all about, guys. That midget kick, you can tell he loves it. I mean, you know what? I could, I, I'm not even going to hate you for that. I could see that. So that's right where somebody did the super chat saying this is having the opposite fact. This is making them a fan. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to hate you for that, which I appreciate it, Rich. Thank you. Thank you. I need every fan I can get. So thank you. Thank you for making somebody a fan of my content as a result of showing this. Honestly, I'm not mad. You can show all the wrestling matches you want of mine ever. I give you full permission. This is fucking awesome. I understand. But I miss him. <laughs> and backfire on him so bad. He has egg on the face so mentally. Well, what I've what I've noticed with the drama community. What's Ivanon, he talking about drama community for? And I've noticed it for a while. But it, like this situation, they'll just say whatever they need to say to get a click. Isn't that what you're doing? <laughs> you're you're just trying to say it. you're mocking all of us on stream to get a click slightest. i don't think i don't know if things happen for a reason but why so much dead air come on rich i'm not saying i did things perfect but i did i know the, the video ain't pausing by the way there's like no need to pause on any of his videos because it just the right it's choice. just dead air every time that's all i'll say not going into this spiel again oh that was an awesome oh, kick on the midget. Right in the mush. That was like a 50 yard field goal for Spectre. And Spectre, man, so cocky. You know what the best thing I love too is that he absolutely hates that I'm watching this. He I know I like even if he's not here, he knows this is going on. I hate that you're watching this. This video is literally on my YouTube channel. Why would I not want you to watch it? <laughs> I'm a pro wrestler. I wrestle in front of people in little trunks and spandex. Why would I not want anybody to watch it? That makes no sense at all. It literally makes no sense at all. So arrogant. Damn that spectrum. Imagine looking like that and thinking you're intimidating. Okay. I'm a heel. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be intimidating. There's different. So in pro wrestling, there's different characters, different personas. There's big monster heels, like our big bulky monster, like, you know, Undertaker Kane guys. And then there's chicken shit coward heels that have this little chicken shit look like me. My character is more comedic. My, my character is more of like a folly. My character's idea is that they make you want to be thrown around and get beat up. They make you want to watch them get thrown around and get beat up. I'm an old school classic chicken shit hill, Rich. I'm not supposed to look intimidating. That's why I kicked the midget who's smaller than me. If you know psychology, I just kicked the midget who's smaller than me. I turn my back and I'm posing to the crowd trying to look tough. While Honky Kong, who's much bigger than me, is coming in. And I'm going to turn around and get beat up by the bigger guy because I didn't pick on somebody my own size. Do you not know how pro wrestling works? Are you only like knowledgeable about food and being fat? That's what I want to know. Uh, Why does he moan I'll after everything? Penis, yes, you were you were a good mod. You could be. Yeah, I think this is this may be funnier than Dracula flow. I think you just said that, too. You were a good What's mod, he talking so about? Oh, he's getting distracted by people in the chat wanting to be... Imagine being a mod for Review Tech. See, so I turn around and get beat up by the big guy after I just bully the, the midget. Does he not understand how wrestling works? 
Yeah, big splash. Look wait, at that. Wait, wait, wait. We got another one. We got another one. Hold on. Yeah, take the fight to us. <laughs> That's a great fucking screen cap right there. It's like he's never watched wrestling. And that's oh awesome. He's reacting like this. Turbo it means Express. he's entertained. It means he's fucking entertained. You're amazing. You're amazing. Shout out to Turbo Express. Come to the channel sometime. You could share <laughs> all the matches with Turbo. I don't want to get off this image. It's too fun. Avalanche in the corner. Look at this. Another big one. I still think the best one is shout out to the person who sent me the screenshot where it looks like he would like a woman sucked on his dick and bit the tip. Is he, he still like, stuck ah! on that? <laughs> God. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Let's go on. Now this coming up right here hurts when he, he's going to like jump on my, my chest. It hurt. Right here. This hurts. Oh. I know I'm a fat guy, but it must feel so weird, him being hairless and sweaty. I want to vomit thinking of it, but when he, like, belly bumped Eric, like, that means all of his nasty fucking sweat got on him. I didn't even uh, think about it. <laughs> Look, watch. This This hurts, though, when he lands. Boom. Oh, that fucking hurt. That hurt. That like docked the fuck out of me. I'm not gonna lie. That was all dead weight. <laughs> That's a large breasted me. All right, so this is the end of the match. They kiss. I get the pin. But like whatever you think, if you don't, if you want to get like, fine. He did the re I like if he was in the realm of reality for this. Like okay, you did like. I don't know if it's amateur wrestling or whatever in between. I don't understand how I'm not in the realm of reality with it. <laughs> Yay, whoopee. But, like, this is, you could tell this is, like, amateur hour stuff. Yeah, that's why it's called indie wrestling, Rich. Cameras and everything like that. Now, if he was a normal human being and not a fucking walking piece of fecal matter, like, all right. He's so you, salty. You, you wrote a book on this? Yeah, you can write a book on whatever you want. Like, I don't understand what the problem with that is. You sound like a retard crying about that. <laughs> There's nothing embarrassing about this. him on the breast. This is fucking amazing. This is awesome. I'm proud of this. I literally don't give shit. The only reason why I made this video is so I can make some money off of you, Rich. Because you look like a retard on this. You literally proved nothing trying to mock this. Your audience. I don't know if it's dangerous or not. I could see. Your audience literally laughed at you and said they don't understand what you're what you're doing by watching this. That's the biggest win of all. And I kicked a midget, and I got subs from it, and I got new followers on Twitter. What you're saying, Cat? Because like, oh, Captain Despera, who I think is a total insufferable twat. Uh, she came to my channel once trying to say that I was sexist for calling women females. That's literally a term. And uh, she has me blocked. But she was actually defending me in this too. Saying, dude, this is indie wrestling. This is awesome. She was actually defending me. I was actually surprised. But I still don't like her. I mean, this is... She like betrayed me when I started talking bad about Rich. I don't know if they have a thing going on or something like that. But she just started attacking me. So, screw her. What would it be? It's not... This is indie, indie wrestling. Indie what, would this be like what level is it? Is this obviously not professional? They're it is pro wrestling. Even in 2012. It is professional wrestling. It, all wrestling that's in a ring in this style is called pro wrestling. Then there's national. There's independent. This, this is, is indie. Like this is independent. Yeah, I'm on Destiny, sure. She'll bat everybody. Watch out. She's ban happy. I'm kidding, by the way. Oh, he just modded Destiny. From Hokey Cole! Unbelievable! The beast felt it deep down inside, and he went for it. Way to go, Cole!
Turbo Express is the guy that donated saying, bro, I'm laughing so hard. Uh, again, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it. Turbo, you did the best thing for me by sharing this to Review Tech, who also did the best thing for me by watching this on live stream. This literally helped me out. Like, on, honestly, all troll and all hatred aside, thank you. Honestly, 110% thank you. As as a independent pro wrestler, the one thing that we want is more eyeballs on us. So you you did a big solid for me. Like, not even joking. Like, I'm taking the whole troll act down, whatever. You literally did the best thing that you guys could do for me by sharing a match of mine and showing it out. Because now people are going to Google. They're going to search. They're going to find the book. They're going to follow me. Like, wow. Like, legit. I'm like, I'm not even trying to troll or anything anymore at this point. Like, you guys did a fucking solid showing this. So, thank you. I appreciate it. As long as you're enjoying it and laughing, that's all I give a fuck about. I feel like I'm watching bad community theater. As it's a indie wrestling. Bad community theater. <laughs> it's I'm indie an wrestling. expert on that. I Dead wonder who plays the book he mentions that he kicked a roundhouse midget in the room. <laughs> I don't know what page oh in the book God. I mentioned the midget, but it, the like midget was awesome. A really weird porn without the porn. Right, and there I take the pin. And I win. So not only did he show a match of mine, he showed one where I won. Now check this out. This is the best part. My thumbnail, my end screen comes up. My end screen thumbnail comes up, and he gets triggered over the word "fouting" on it. Look at this. Watch this. This is great right here. Listen to what he says too. Watch. <laughs> Look at that felted <laughs> face of his. That's seething you, right yeah, there. Put felted in put felted in your thumbnails. They you're you're like a fucking desperate dude that's trying to get attention from a chick by thinking that if you say things like this, they'll actually be interested in you. They're not, dude. They don't want to fuck you. We all know who he's trying to refer to there. He's trying to refer to Melanie Mack, who he's completely obsessed with that has nothing to do with his situation. He couldn't think of anything to get me back on. He watched this. He saw the felted thumbnail from the end screen, which was perfect fucking timing. And then he couldn't think of anything except, oh, a girl doesn't want to fuck you because that's what it comes down to at Review Tech is, oh, if a girl wants to fuck you or not. Because deep down inside, he's a prick. He's sexless. He's probably a fucking womanizer. He's probably cheated on his ex-wife. I'm willing to bet that, that he's cheated on his ex-wife. That's why they're no longer together. He's a horrible father and just all around a horrible human being. But with that said, thank you fucking so goddamn much for sharing that fucking match. Dude, honestly, like I said, all trolling aside, that's all any wrestlers want is for people to watch their stuff. So you guys did me a fucking solid today. Solid. So thank you guys. I know this is a long video. He did other stuff about Kino Casino and Smash and JKB. Uh, he claimed that he was going to crush us all. No, this was another failure. At this point, he has nothing. And he's supposedly moving away from the drama, but I'm not. Rich, we're going to A-log all of your old stuff. Uh, just because. I think you deserve it. Uh, you do it to DSP all the time. I think it's time for you to get your medicine back. But please, if you really want to legit, watch my matches some more on stream. That was awesome. Promote the book. It's helping me. You sold me 37 copies yesterday. I think I get like half. I think I get like 45% to half of each book sold. So please, <laughs> please do it. And uh, share my matches out because that just helps get my name out there. That's awesome. I'll write a second book. Matter of fact, if I write a second book, I will put a little dedicated spot for you as a special thanks. So thanks, guys, for watching. Subscribe if you're brand new.